Hello everyone, welcome to this question number 57 which was asked in the IIT JAM 2020 Mathematical Statistics. So you can see this is a question behind that but there is no need to read the complete statement. The major question is you have to what you want to find, you have to always find the conditional probability. So whenever there is a task of the conditional probability we will work always on the always on the Bayes theorem. Remember that always on the Bayes theorem. It means this question we can solve with the help of Bayes theorem. So if you remember that what is the Bayes theorem that's fine. If you not then again there is no problem we will work very simple manners are here. So let's start with this one how you can solve this and this question is of the two marks. So you can see you can get a two marks in a very simple manner after finding this video. Please follow this link for finding the various videos related to this uh, IIT jams as well as the gate statistics. So how you can solve these problems are there. So if you read this first line you can see there are the two printers and the probability of uh, the probability of the respective jobs are 40 and 60. It means whenever there is a base theorems are there you have to start with these two lines. So this is my printer 1, this is my printer 2. What is the probability of them is my 0 0.40 and probability of 1 is this is my point. So always remember that the first line must be the 1. The sum of this must be the 1. Now once there is a, pr pr a printer 1 is there then for the typical job the printing time follows the normal distribution. So this means this follows the normal distribution having the mean 10 variance 4. Printer 2 follows the uniform distribution with the here is this. If you select the randomly and found completion less than of the 10 minutes are there. That's a major target. So what is that? If I say this is my event E, what is the probability that it can complete in the less than 10 minutes? That is, this is the probability when it is a less than of the 10. So since it is a normal distribution, so how you can find this probability of this? You can convert into the Z. So Z is X minus, you all know that what is the Z is X minus mu by sigma. So 10, what is the mean is my 10? So 10 minus 10 divided by uh, 2 square root of the variance. So what is that? This is nothing but z less than 0. What is the answer of the z less than 0? Always be 0.5. So this answer is my 0.5. What is the answer of this? Again for the second part which is less than of the 10. You, this is nothing but my CDF of the 10. So what is the CDF of my uniform distribution? This is there where A is my this b is my here, x is my 10, so this is 10 minus 9 and here, so this is my here. Now what, is, what you can do, you can see these are the options which I have drawn here. Now you can multiply this into this, it will be my here, this into this, that will be this is that and finally you can add that. Now what is the probability is that it can be handled by the printer 2. What is the printer 2 is my here, what is the answer of this is? here. So what is the right answer is? So this answer will be my 0.27. This is a printer 2. Conditional probability of my point total 1 is there. So whatever you, after the solving you will get the required answer of this as of 0.57 is the required. So remember that whenever there is a base theorem you have to draw this picture. This is the printer 1. This is the printer 2. This is the probability corresponding to the first printer. When it is say if I say event A which is less than of the 10, this is the probability of the event A which is less than of the 10, it follows the uniform distribution, it follows the normal distribution and you can see in here normal distribution you can write like this way, this is my CDF of this uniform distribution like this way. After solving you will get the required answers as of 0.57. So, so far if you want to find some another videos related to the distribution function you can simply follow this link where you can find the 16 questions with a shortcut which you can solve them in for your practice before entering into the examination. So, so far we have discussed all these questions you can see that some of the questions are the 2 marks some are their 1 marks and you can see how many questions we have solved and of the 2 marks each you can see how many marks you can obtain in a very simple manner till then you can see that. We will see solve some other questions, we discuss another one in our next videos. Till then, best of luck. Share with this video with your friends. Thank you.